So in the last video, we have seen how to use these methods which are map and reduce. Now in this video, we'll see, we'll, we'll do some modification and let's go for a new logic here. Okay, so what we'll do now, instead of having this values, let me change the value. We'll say the value is 12, 20, 35, 46, 55, and 68. So I'm going for this random values and let me go for one more value which is 75. So these are my values which is 12, 20, 35, 46, 55, 68, and 75. Now what I want to do here is, I want to add all the elements or I want to add all the elements which are divisible by 5. Now that means I want to add this 35, 55, and 75, or even 20. So all these numbers are divisible by 5, and that's why I want to add these numbers. Now in order to do this with the help of collection, for the logic of collection, what we can do is we can use a for loop. In fact, we, can, we need one more variable here. We'll say int result. Initial value of result will be 0. And in this, what we can do is, we can apply a for loop, we'll say int i in all the elements of values, or all the values, which is a list here, and fetch one value, check that value. If that value is divisible by 5, how to check? We'll say i mod 5 is equal to equal to 0. So by this, you will get all, you can check the number is it divisible by 5 or not. Once it is, once it says true, it's divisible divisible by five. What you can simply do is you can say result. We can use a shorthand here. We'll say result, or we can say result equal to result plus i. Now since uh, this is, we can also use a shorthand here instead of writing result equal to result plus one. What we can simply do is we can just remove this part and we'll say a plus on this side. This is a shorthand for result equal to result plus 1, or result plus i. Okay, and then uh, that's it. By, by doing this, what we get is a result, which is s out, and if I print the value of result here, so it should give me 20 plus 35, which is 55, 55 plus 55, which is 110, 110 plus 75, uh, it is 185. So the output I'm expecting here is 185. Okay, so let's run this code to check if we are, we are getting the right output. And okay, yeah, and the answer is 185, right? So uh, we can use this logic or since, again, if, you, if you're doing it this way, this is external iteration and we have to apply all the logic. Now the problem is this type of codes are called as imperative coding, which means you have to focus on both the things. Uh, is it uh, what to do and how to do? Now if you use, if you do the same thing using stream API, stream says you only focus on, on what to do. I will take care of how to do it. So what we can do is we can just simply say s out and instead of using a external for loop, we can use an internal for loop. We'll use a for a values dot. There's a, again, there's a method called a stream. It will convert your list into a stream. Then from the stream. Now I want to remove all the values which are not divisible by five. I want, to re I want to remove this 12. I want to remove this 46 and I want to remove this 68. Now how to remove? So there's, there's something called a filter. Now filter is again a method of stream which takes a true or false value. Now how to represent a true or false value here, I can simply say for every element of i, uh, the body will be i mod 2 is equal to equal to 0. It's not 2, it's 5. So i mod 5 is equal to equal to 0. If this will remove all the elements which are not divisible by 5. So it will only, it will only forward those values which are divisible by 5. Now once you got the filter, now we need to add. How to add? We have already seen that using reduce operator or reduce method, we need to pass two values. One is C comma E, carry and the element. And we'll, have, we'll apply C plus E there. Either you can use integer uh, colon colon sum, which we have done in the last video, or we can directly use this thing. And if I run this, I should be getting 125 two times, 185 two times, yeah. So this one answer with this logic and second answer with this logic, much simpler, right? 
And the advantage is this is internal iteration. Clear? Now, how what is how this filter works? That we'll see in the so it's now now see we know how reduce works, right? We have seen in the last video it takes our object or binary operator. What about this filter? Now to understand filter, that will that uh, we'll see the uh, next video. 